Shout out to all my guys and goddesses checking out this video. I am C, the spiritual goddess, here for your weekly message. Yes, gods and goddesses, today's video, we are going to be seeing what messages spirit has for us for this week, the week of the 25th. So if you come across this message, this message is for you. Before we get into this reading, don't forget, if you do want to book a personal reading with me, all that information is below. So let's go ahead and get into the overall energies for the week. A big shout out to my Patreon. If you guys are wondering about the new moon in Libra video, that will be in my Patreon along with ritual guidance. So let's go ahead and get into the messages Spirit has for us for the week, the overall energy for the week for the collective. Go ahead and leave me some sunshine emojis for good luck if you are checking this out. As we're closing out September, how are you guys feeling overall? I know this energy has been like very interesting, I can say the least. I've been really working with this energy. Okay, the first card we have is Angel of Love. So a lot of you, your overall energy, I feel like for the week, we're being called to focus on the heart space, focus on heart chakra, focus on love energy. Okay, let's see. Yeah, but I'm ready for this new month of, of October. I have some exciting things. Also, uh, do keep in mind, this is a part one. Part two, we will be talking about love and money and my Patreon. So if you are in my Patreon, check out the second part to this video. All right, so let's see. Envy, okay, all right. Okay, this is very interesting energy. I'm gonna pull one more card. Broken heart. Okay. I'm picking up for some of you. Spirit is calling on you to really focus on your heart chakra. That's one thing that stands out to me. Also, I keep hearing focus on that loving energy. I do feel like this week, don't be surprised for some of you if you get confronted or if you notice some shady energy, some shady behavior, because I am getting a sense. Some of you, Spirit is telling me that you need to focus on more love energy and not the people who's hating on you. I don't know why I'm getting, some of you may have recently had to cut ties in in cords with people some of you you may some of you you may be waking up to the fact that you have people who really are envious of you you get what i'm saying but for some of you i am getting if you do feel like you've been holding a lot of envy lately spirit is saying go deeper and work on heart chakra work because i don't know why i'm getting a sense a lot of my babies who's checking this out you may have a uh problem with not only giving love but receiving love i don't know i feel like there's a little bit of blockage blockage um in your heart chakra and it has a lot to do i'm getting with being hurt in the past having your heart broken and this doesn't necessarily mean relationship this can mean a number of things you know what tell me more spirit i want to pull some cards for the collective Oh, go to the moon. Go to your emotions. Okay, so this is... Okay. Some of you, I'm picking up that... 
Spirit is saying, it's very interesting the cards we have. The first card we have is, is go to the moon. When I think about this card, what I'm thinking about um, here, the moon represents your emotions. The moon represents um, also mother, feminine energy when I think about the moon. Spirit is, is saying a lot of you, you need to go into your emotions. You need to go to that dark side that's, that's kind of hidden, that you hide. And spirit wants you to revisit it from a place of love is what spirit is saying. This comes in with our heart chakra because I feel like a lot of you, there's a lot of things that you block off. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I think it's because this card came up. Words, words cannot explain. I feel like there's deeper emotions that you have. Like words can't explain this this burden that sometimes you may feel you carry, this hurt that you have, this broken heart. Cause I feel like a lot of you, you went through uh, a broken heart with someone. Maybe you found out someone was really envious of you. Maybe you found out, you know, people were switching sides where they weren't who they, they weren't what they seen. I do feel like this week spirit is wanting you to let go of that energy spirit is, is encouraging you to let go. If you feel like a lot of old energy is coming up, um, it makes sense with the cosmos and, our, and everything. I think we have quite a few planets in retrograde, if I'm not mistaken. But what I am picking up for the collective spirit is saying, now is the time for you to purge. I don't know why, but I see a lot of you letting go of, of a lot of things getting rid of a lot of things, also cleaning, cleansing, that can be symbolic for you. I see a lot of you doing that so you can release this. Cause there's been a, there's been like, I don't know. I feel like with this group you're ascending, but I do feel like for a long time, there's been a lot of emotional baggage or whatever this is that's been holding you down. And spirit is saying, now is the time for you to release whatever's left over. And you have to know, the last card we have here is everything's a gift. Spirit is saying everything that you went through is a gift. Even those losses, even those, the pain that you felt of betrayal, no matter what it is, spirit is saying everything's a gift. So you have to let it go. When you understand that everything happens for you and not against you, you'll understand why things ha have to be the way they have to be. You won't stress as much. Spirit is saying for the collective, I would definitely suggest working on heart chakra I feel like you need to look at things from a place of love and empathy this week. Spirit is inviting you to do that. I will also suggest um, some of you journaling and shadow work. We will be talking about that in my Patreon. There should be a video coming up very soon, so I'm so excited for that. So, um, you know what? I wanna pull, um, I wanna pull some sacred geometry. And then I think we are going to pull some Zodiacs to see who this message is to. Um, and then we'll go ahead and follow up in our Patreon for uh, what, what we can expect for our money and our love, okay? All right, so let's see. All right, so give me, tag this message up here. What messages do? You want the collective to hear. I don't know why I want to like the song that's coming to me is everything's gonna be all right. No, I can't sing now, <laughs> but um, Aaliyah, everything's gonna be all right. Like, that's the song for you all. I might play this after this. I'm getting, that's the song. Spirit wants you to know everything is going to be all right. Okay, discernment. So this is your card, Sacred Geometry. If you guys want to get any of my tarot decks, I will leave a link below. Okay, so it says, the frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment yet with compassion and wisdom. So this goes back to what we're saying. When you learn to detach yourself, I think spirit wants us to detach 
and really view those who we may have felt who's broken our heart, who's hurt us, who may, may have been envious of us, who may not have given us love and compassion in the time we needed. I think Spear want, wants us to detach our emotional selves from it and look at it from a place of not only your higher self, but a place of discernment. And that way you can make peace with it is what Spirit is saying. Once you do this, I feel like a lot of you, you'll be able to, to have peace and you'll be able to let go a lot of that, whatever that is that's weighing you down. I definitely feel this message like this message is definitely hitting me too. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's get into what signs this is for or what signs this involves. So this can be your sign. This can be whoever you're dealing with or this can be um, any, you know, this could be a placement in your chart, whatever sign. So let's see. What signs? Spirit, give me confirmation for whoever's hearing this. So I'm going to pull, you know what? I might pull six cards. Okay, I'm going to pull six cards. Don't forget to hit this thumbs up, guys. That really does help me also share. This video is a giveaway, by the way. So if you're watching this by the end of this video, go ahead and leave the secret word popcorn in the chat along with the popcorn emoji. And I will pick one of you random to win a one free question giveaway by text. So, so go ahead and leave that there. All right. Let's see. So moon sign, this can have to do with your moon sign. Once again, that moon energy brings me back to what we talked about earlier, the card that came up earlier, um, go to the moon. Some of you, I don't know why I'm getting mother energy. Like some of you need to let go of your mother before we get into the signs. Like you might need to work on releasing whatever that chapter is with your mother that's weighing you down. But, um, yeah, so, um, so that's what I get with moon, but this can also mean cancer. So if you, um, maybe you, you're cancer or you're dealing with the cancer, let's see. Um, sun sign. So this can represent Leo or spirit of saying like, your sun sign could be in these the next following signs. Okay. So Aquarius, I want to get Uranus, Aquarius. So you could be Aquarius or dealing with an Aquarius. Ooh, this fire sign is giving me sun sign. So once again, Leo or Aries or Sagittarius. Okay, give me two more cards and then I'm going to. Air sign once again, an Aquarius. So you can be an Aquarius or dealing with an Aquarius or it could be Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. Speaking of September 25th, happy birthday to my auntie. Her birthday is the 25th. One of my aunties, she's a Libra. She's one of my favorite, one of, one of my favorite jazzy aunties. I swear she can, um, she's who I look to for style. Like when I tell you my auntie growing up, she was always the jazzy auntie. Auntie, if you're watching this, leave your business. She sells jewelry too, y'all. Make sure y'all check her out. All right, let's see. And then Virgo. So that's what we have. Um, if your sign is any one of these signs um, or placements, if this is for you. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm so curious to hear from you all. Also, Patreon, go ahead and join me over for 
the your money reading and your love reading they're getting two extra videos so yeah guys and goddesses if you do want to book your own personal reading all the information is below and check out the other videos that i do have up so until then all my gods and goddesses don't forget to always rock your crown see you in the next video peace Oh, 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 oh,